guys, Karen from Lavender Clothesline. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to jump on quick and make a different kind of video. I don't have any hard goods or clothing to show you. It's not a haul video, but it's a video on where I wanted to share my thoughts of the recent eBay glitch situation with the seller update. So as many of you know, on October 15th of this year, the seller update was implemented and caused quite a bit of problems on our listings. If you don't know what I'm speaking about, I'm sure you could Google it or YouTube it and find out that many of our item specifics uh, became missing on our listing or did not show up when a buyer searched for their size. I have 3,400 listings and my site has definitely been impacted. Today is Friday and I don't believe I've made a sale since Wednesday night, no sales, and I have 3,400 listings. I do sell on eBay full time. And just as a disclaimer, I wanna say that I love selling on eBay. It does have its problems. It's a very antiquated site. The platform was not uh, correctly updated as the years went on, in my opinion. Now, I'm not a tech person of any means, but it's very well known that the eBay site has really had a host of problems, glitches every time they implement something new, a new program. And instead of really working on fixing these problems, they just continue to roll out more updates which cause more problems. So today I wanted to jump on and just share my experience to let you guys know what's going on on my site. Like I said, I have about 34 or 3,500 listings. So quite a bit of it is clothing and I have been affected. Over the course of the past couple of days, I've been watching everybody's videos of people that I follow on YouTube. Rockstar Flipper Casey has been doing a great job, in my opinion, reporting what's going on. I also watch Chris Daily Refinement and uh, to see what he is posting and what he is finding. And as of today, I have not revised any of my listings. I have not done a bulk revision. I felt like when this situation happened, my course of action would be to wait the couple of days, let the dust settle and take it from there. And waiting the couple of days, so now we are on Friday, October 18th, like I said, my sales have fallen off a cliff. I have made no sales, which is a little bit worrisome. I have called eBay, I called yesterday and spoke with a representative who his main advice was just to start the revision process, go in and revise my items in the bulk uh, editing tool, which in the past, let me just say, I have had problems with the bulk tool updating things incorrectly. So that made me a little bit nervous. As of date, I have quite a few glitches on my site. I have my items, 49 of them, showing that I'm a return seller, which I am definitely not. I do not have returns on any of my items. Not only don't I have free returns, I just don't accept returns, unless of course um, I've made a mistake in a listing and the buyer has received something different than what I advertise. Right now my return rate is under 1%, so you can see I'm not a return seller, but this new update has caused some of my items to show that I take returns. So I called eBay today to see if I could get some more information or updates since eBay is not updating or staying in communication with us. I have never seen a business that doesn't communicate when they themselves always stress that we need to communicate with our trading partners, our buyers. And here they are, we are their partners and they are not communicating with us. And the little bit that they are communicating, in my opinion, it's false information. So having said all of that, I wanted to share some information about the phone call that I placed today and spoke with a representative. Now, I'm not gonna give his name, but he and I had a lengthy conversation. I have to say he was very knowledgeable, very kind, and very respectful. Through that conversation, I told him that I saw another seller call eBay and, and report it to us on Instagram, and that seller had asked for a CVS file of the listings prior to the update to be uploaded to an Excel uh, spreadsheet. That way, that seller could kind of revert his listings to pre-October 15th. That's my understanding of it. Mm -hmm. 
let me just reiterate again, I am very untech savvy, but I believe this is not such a hard thing to do. When I represented this and shared this with the representative, he was on board for this. So right now I am waiting for a phone call from this representative for when a certain office opens, they're on uh, Mountain Time, that will help walk me through how to upload a spreadsheet and revert my listings back to pre-October 15th. I don't know if this is gonna happen. I don't even know if this representative is really gonna call me back, but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this will be a fix because I am really not looking forward to revising 3,400 listings. The representative also shared with me a few points that I'd like to go over, and I believe what he was saying to be true. Right now, of course, the phone lines in the customer service department, I have anchor support, are just inundated with all of us calling, rightfully so. I feel the squeaky wheel does get the oil, so I am all about calling when I pay for service and the service is under-delivered or not delivered as promised. I spoke with this gentleman and this is what he told me. He has worked for eBay for five years and he has never seen such a problem as eBay has been developing. One of the things he shared with me is the team that develops these seller updates do not test the update. He outright told me these updates are not tested and anybody with half a brain can see that this is fraught with disaster. They come up with these updates and they just implement them and the chips fall where they may. So that was number one. Number two, he also shared there is no communication for his department and he is customer service between his department and the department that creates these updates and delivers the instruction of how to implement. So in other words, the education is greatly lacking for the eBay representatives, and I think we all know that. He said that on the, his team, on his employee team, they have what's called a huddle, and they're called into this huddle, I believe it's every day, and they're just given a brief of what to expect for the day, what glitches are going on, what, you know, just to help them uh, field the calls or to answer the calls. He said with this new seller update, they were given one or two sentences and that was it. So all of these poor representatives are just getting inundated with calls that some of them don't even know what's going on. I have to say this representative was excellent. The customer service was excellent. He knew what he was speaking about, which I was thrilled, very grateful to him. And he, you could hear the frustration in this poor man's voice, and like I said, he's worked for eBay for five years and he's a seller himself. He said, you don't know the half of it. It's just been a nightmare. He said the, the team that develops these updates are not only under-trained, but they don't sell themselves. They have no knowledge of how to sell or what it's like selling or how these updates are going to perform because they're untested. This is crazy to me, totally crazy. So of course you're going to have crashes and glitches and you know item specifics not updating. I have never heard of a platform implementing updates and not pre-testing it. He went on to say a few other things I won't share, a little bit of information that I don't know that he was supposed to share. So I definitely don't wanna get him in trouble in case YouTube is watched by eBay, which I'm sure sometimes it is. I don't think I'm a big enough YouTube creator to get that kind of attention. But having said all of that, if this turns out to be successful, that I am able to upload a CVS file, Excel spreadsheet to my eBay to revert my listings to where the item specifics were correct, I will come back on and share that. I am hoping that this is a good fix for it. I'm also hoping that the 49 listings will not still contain the information that I take returns because I do not. And I'm also hoping to turn this ship around and make some sales. 
Normally on an average to good month, I probably sell between nine and 10,000, sometimes a little bit over in my monthly sales. And not selling for two or three days a single item is just really gonna hurt my numbers, especially at the beginning of fourth quarter. It's my personal opinion that eBay should not release seller updates at the beginning of our high season. They should just keep working on smoothing anything out, increasing the sales for fourth quarter, because I imagine we're not all taking a hit profit-wise and selling-wise. They Their numbers must be hugely down for how many of us are affected by this problem, by this glitch. So I will report back to you guys, most likely on my Instagram. You can go over and follow me there. I am Lavender Clothesline on Instagram, here on YouTube, and it's my eBay store. So yes, I'm exposing my eBay store so you guys can see what's going on there. I believe in full transparency. And I also wanna close this video with expressing that recently I started making these YouTube videos. I never felt I would ever be a YouTube uh, creator, you know, to create content, but I saw the value in not only sharing what we do on social media, but also being able to earn some income this way. I do believe in diversifying on different social platforms and uh, different platform selling platforms, but as one person closing in on 60 very quickly, I feel I can only handle so much. I can only, you know, move at a certain pace. I don't want my life to be just a constant grind. So with having said that, YouTube has no investment and it also is very pleasurable. Once I get all this lighting set up and, and myself ready to, um, you know, to speak to you guys, it's a wonderful, um, a wonderful situation. It's a wonderful experience. That's what I want to say. So I'm going to close with saying, if you have not considered YouTube, I think you might want to. Now I'm not saying that it's a super easy thing to do, that there's no work, but when you look at being a YouTube creator, there's very little investment. There's not a lot of risk. The risk, I guess, is putting yourself out there and maybe feeling embarrassed of what you say or what you look like, which we all get over that very quickly. My faux pas are many. And yes, I have deleted a few videos that I was just horrified, like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I said that. But a little bit of editing, a little bit of filming, and you have another viable source that may be a very good way to earn some extra income. So I'm gonna leave you with that. I will report back on how my store does. Hopefully today I'll, I will get some sales because even my hard goods haven't sold. So I'm not quite sure what that's about, but I just wanted to jump on here because many of you were asking uh, through direct messaging and Instagram if I would give my opinion or my experience of what was happening with the eBay uh, glitch from the seller update. So that's what I have to share. I will report back also on Instagram when my sales start clicking in, which I believe they will. I don't believe eBay is going to crash. Maybe I'm too positive a person. I like to look at things in life very on the positive side, keep my chin up, keep going. And I don't see the sense in a lot of complaining or a lot of you know bashing. I don't think that does anybody any good, but I do believe in being truthful about a situation. So that's my situation as of now. Today is Friday, October 18th. And like I said, I will report back to you guys. I feel it's a little bit of my responsibility since you guys give me your time that I'm truthful with you. And as always, go out and get what's yours. Bye guys. Hey guys, this is part two of this video. I just got off the phone with eBay and have a workaround solution, which I believe Tech and Sports also reported on Instagram. So when I saw Tech and Sports um, reported, I called eBay and I said, look at Tech and Sports, how he got some help and I want that same help. So they switched me over to um, another representative who walked me through how to correct the glitch with your item sizes not being visible. So what happens is you're, re, you're calling eBay and you're requesting a file exchange. So when eBay says, tell me what your problem is, you want to say file exchange. You will be switched to the department who will then download an Excel spreadsheet 
into your email. You open your email and there was the Excel spreadsheet with all of your eBay stores active items. You're going through one by one and you're looking for what lettered column the size wound up in. Like for instance, right now your men's items, the tops, jackets, things like that, will be in column Z. And all of the items need to have the size listing in letter Q. So the objective of this task is to have all of the item sizes wind up in column Q. So you're opening the Excel spreadsheet, you're looking at the different items in your store, you're finding, you go across the cell. So number one, say it's a woman's top. Women's tops right now are winding up in AJ. It needs to be in Q, if I'm explaining that correct. So I have a cheat sheet that I'm actually going to take a picture of and put it in my Instagram, Lavender Clothesline. So this cheat sheet will help you easily identify which present column your size is in and you're cutting and pasting it into Q. Once you finish that task, and it's momentous still, but still easier than doing it through bulk edit, you then, uh, let me just see what I wrote down. You save the file to your desktop and then you go into the file and file exchange is in the original email that they sent you. I, I probably messed that up, but so after you finish editing and you have all of your sizes in column Q in that Excel spreadsheet, you then go into the download of what eBay sent you. This has to be sent through eBay. They're gonna load all of your items into an Excel spreadsheet for you. So I don't have a lot of knowledge of this, but I hope that helps. I hope I've explained that clear enough. Once you finish doing that, your file, your corrected file will correct your listings. So that's choice number one. Choice number two is waiting for eBay to fix it on the back end. Now the representative says she does see that happening, but she doesn't have any kind of time frame. She actually said this could take weeks for them to accomplish fixing this. That's a horrible thought. So for those of us who want to try to fix this ourselves, step one, call eBay and ask for the CVS uh, file exchange Excel spreadsheet of your items. They then email it to you. This happens fairly quick. It was a quick thing for me. You then download that, you go into it, you move any sizes that are not in column Q, cut and paste them into column Q, then you are going back into the email and there will be, I believe you're going back into the email and you're choosing to export. Um, I might have that part of it wrong. You probably are exporting from that Excel spreadsheet into your eBay. So I hope that wasn't too confusing. I hope it's a help. Like I said, that's what this team is working on. Hundreds of sellers calling in and doing this task. Is it horrible that we have to do this ourselves? Absolutely. But it's going to be more horrible if we continue to make this small amount of sales. Now, let me just end with when I said to the representative, I would imagine eBay is on this because they are losing millions of dollars every day from all of us having low sales. She said most likely yes, but sometimes these things can take weeks, even months to fully resolve. So that's a scary thought. But on a positive note, at least we have something to look at and to try. Like I said, I've never used Excel spreadsheet in this amount of detail, and I actually have to purchase it because I don't have it right now. But I think that's what I'm gonna give a try because I don't wanna rely on eBay and waiting for them to fix the problem for me to make sales. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I will post this paper with all of the um, the different categories of where the sizes are now i will post this in my instagram lavender clothesline and please spread the word and send people to this video so that maybe they can understand what i'm saying and trying to help everyone okay guys more later bye so this is a second update i just got off the phone with ebay the third call for the day if i'm counting correctly and eBay representative 
expressed that there probably is not an additional spreadsheet type to download this information to. So as far as he knew, Excel is the only spreadsheet that they are exporting this information, you know, your store's listings into. And of course, my computer doesn't have Excel. When I went to purchase Excel, it's $150. So the representative is going into a meeting right now. I asked him to specifically touch base with whoever had superior position in the room to ask if we could have this spreadsheet put into other formats or other, I don't know what that's called, brands. Um, so frustrating. So eBay, if anybody is watching this, could you please just get on it and at least if the fix is us changing our listings in a spreadsheet because the bulk tool is being glitchy, at least offer it in different formats or different brands. So um, with that update, I am hoping that this representative calls me again after his meeting and we get some additional information. Okay, stay tuned, bye. Okay guys, so I've downloaded Excel through a free trial. You can get a one month trial. Um, they do ask for your credit card information, but I'm hoping to accomplish this in under a month and cancel the one month subscription. So here are my imported listings from the email from eBay. What you do is you click on the title of your item, and this is labor intensive, so you click on it up top right here. It gives you the title you have created in eBay, and we can see my Joe's Rocker jeans are 29. I then go down and go across and put 29 in column Q, and I'm on to the next one. Now, I do think you have to erase the 29 out of the improper column that it got put into, into the item specific. But at least as you can see, I'm fairly quickly filling in my sizes under column Q. So I hope that makes sense. Mm -hmm.